Welcome back everybody. Thank you for watching another video. So if you are afraid of sharpening your own knives or you've been trying to do it and you just can't get it to sharpen and you're worrying about what degree to hold the knife at or you're just worried about damaging them, well don't worry. Check this out. We're going to be having a look at WorkSharp's Kitchen Knife Sharpener. And as always guys, if at the ending of the video you want to purchase this knife sharpener and help support the channel, make sure you check out the link in the description below because we do get a small commission when you purchase this knife sharpener. Also want to say thank you to the folks out at WorkSharp for sending me this sharpener to review. Let's get started. Alright, we're going to use my hand as a size reference to show you how small and compact this knife sharpener is. So my hand size is a medium large cadet, cadet meaning that I have shorter fingers and it pretty much fits right on my hand not inside the palm of my hand but it's pretty much the same size and if you're a numbers person lengthwise just about six inches going across this way probably about four inches and then if we go height wise from top to bottom there yeah just about four inches as well all right, let's get the E2 knife sharpener on the scale, coming in at right around 1 pound, 3.5 ounces. That is light. And just to give you a weight reference so you get a better feel for how heavy it is, a full bottle of water would weigh right around 1 pound, 2 ounces. Now, of course, there's a lot of great ways of sharpening your knife and putting a razor sharp edge on them. You can use a sharpening stone where you take the knife and you drag it across a stone. That takes a little bit more skill and time to learn because you have to be consistent with holding that knife at the correct angle so you're not dulling that edge. Or you can use a device that clamps down on the knife and then you drag the sharpening stone across them. Those are really, really easy to use, but they take a little bit of time to set up. What this is for, this is actually for my mom. And, and wanted to give her something that's really small, compact, easy to store, and most importantly, easy to use. All you got to do is get the knife on that edge angle guide and just slide it across. So there it is, guys. Just a really small, simple, compact design. Very easy to use. The electrical cord is tucked up underneath. Can't even see it under there. All right, got your rubber feet there to give you a little more grip when you're sharpening. All right, this weird looking hump in the middle. This is your angle guide. It is removable. And this is what's going to be responsible for helping you set the right angle and edge every single time. You're going to get your knife, lean it on this angle guide, and just pull the knife across the wheels that we're going to see in a minute. All right, and this is removable. When you take it out, it exposes the scissor sharpener here. So you just take your scissors, set it at this angle guide, and drag it across these wheels here. Now, on the inside is where the wheel sharpeners are. These are reversible. All right, just going to take out these retainers here, flip them over when these wear down, and they do sell the replacement discs at WorkSharp. And that's easy. Let's have a look at how it works. And just in case you're wondering how the angle guide is held in, there's a little hook right here that fits into the slot right on the bottom. Locks into place there. All right, here is the knife we're going to be using for our sharpening demonstration. This knife is well over 50 years old. My mom has not maintained the edge on this knife at all. It's got an edge on it, but it's not too sharp. She just thinks this blade is too long, so she uses the regular 7-inch chef knife. This should cut, but it should be a little bit jagged. Yeah, you can kind of see here, you can see how it's kind of tearing across the paper there. Let's try one more cut. Yeah. There's an edge, but not too good. Let's see if we can improve it. Well, all right, guys, this is it. Really simple setup. Once you got the knife sharpener plugged in, all you got to do is hit this power switch once, get your knife, lean it on this angle guide, and you want to pull it across about an inch per second and alternate sides. Now, once it's done with the cycle, it's automatically going to shut off. If you want to go through another sharpening cycle, you can. Now remember guys, once you're done with your sharpening cycle, you still have to hone your blade to knock off all those extra burrs. So you're going to take your knife blade in here, 
and just slide it back and forth just like this. Also remember, whenever you're done using your knife, it is an awesome idea to hone your blade. That way you spend less time sharpening. Just one other tip as far as technique goes, as far as using the sharpener. Try not to push down into the sharpener. Just get your blade in here, lean it against the guide, and just lightly pull it across this way. You don't need to push down into the sharpener. And that should leave us with a much improved edge. Yes. Yep. That's a lot cleaner cut. Let's try it on a bunch of celery. Let's try with a cucumber. Let's try with an apple. All right, let's have a look at the scissors sharpener. We're just gonna push on the back of the angle guide for your knife sharpener and it will expose the angle guide for your scissors. So the flats are gonna sit right here. And what I would do is with your other hand, support it just like this, get the angle set and just drag it across this way. Just twice on each side will do. You flip it around and then do the other side. And these were getting a little bit dull, but now they're back in shape. Let's have a look at how to change out these sharpening discs. Remember to always unplug the sharpener. You don't want to accidentally hit the power button while you're in here. And you do have to have the knife angle guide removed. So you just flip up the hood like this. And then we're going to take out the O-ring. And then written right on that cap there is just a little bit of directions. If you go this way, it's tightened. So... You're just going to hold down the other side and then loosen in the opposite direction and then hold this down and go in the opposite direction as well for the other one. And then they just both unscrew. All right, and you just turn them around and you have extended life for your sharpening discs. When you're done, install the O-ring. I do it this way. And just go back on that way. And make sure that they're tightened up. Oh, yeah. That easy. Just a quick maintenance tip. When you're done sharpening, I would open up the lid here and clean out all the shavings just to keep everything nice and clean. Yeah, see all that? Once again, guys, this has been the WorkSharp Kitchen Knife Sharpener. If you are afraid of damaging your knives or sharpening and you're looking for something that's small and compact and easy to use, this might be a great option for you. Well, all right, guys, this is the ending of the video. Remember, if you want to purchase this knife sharpener, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.